I haven't gotten anywhere with these. I'm missing two boxes. One I need to buy and one Viver needs to send me because this was a 50-50 split and they've abandoned me. Can't get any more red tiles to do the floor, so. I want what's up there though. Weeks ago, I got a cool box of stuff that I squirreled away up here in hopes of showing you guys on a future video. this out. After 30 years or so, check out what came back to me. My very first computer. So awesome. And I don't think the cassette drive came. The cassette drive is still missing in action, but we've got cartridges and the main PC and the power supply, so we're good. I'm just going to give things a little bit of a clean up, but this will serve to be the before images before we go go to do the restoration of sorts. Um, I'm going to use this in some B-roll shots of a video upcoming, and that's where you'll first see this. And then uh, if you're interested, well, we'll do a restoration on it. I was thinking about some cool projects we could do with the VIC-20, so I went over to the shared projects page on PCBWay.com. That's where people are sharing all the cool things they're building with custom printed circuit boards. I searched Commodore and found 440 results, and this first one really caught my eye. This is a VIC-20 35K RAM expansion cartridge that you can actually use a Raspberry Pi Pico to make. Really, really neat that they're sharing these out, and with one click you can add it to cart and have the PCBs manufactured. Pretty cool. Home to the mountain. Lost over the fact that I got my original ColecoVision back as well with all the paddles and I'm pretty sure I already have the cartridges here at home. This thing is in remarkable condition and it uh, it was definitely fully functional when I stopped using it. This is uh, my first game console ever. Got it from the neighbors down the street. Uh, a little bit of corrosion in there but bet you we could restore this too if we wanted to. Home to the mountain. quad out for a little rip the other day and the for the first time uh well first i've flown in like over a year uh i found that uh i need a bit softer stick feel to relearn how to fly and maybe i can become a bit better pilot so and the before and after i have no idea why the yaw was set so high Still my favorite use for 3D printing. Flexible phone cases. This is for my new phone that I just got from work. An iPhone 11. A little bit of cleanup on it because I used some supports for the lips, but just wonderful. What a great use for 3D printing. Needed both hands, but the cleanup is just pull and everything comes out in one piece. Nothing to it. Almost no cleanup required for prints like this. It just works. Shoot night in the studio. Check this out. Don't know whether this video will be up when you see this. Probably already, but this is how I'm doing some of the cool B-roll stuff that you're going to see. I'm putting a lot more effort into these and actually I'm just really enjoying it honestly. Like I love playing with electronics. I love playing with super cool electronics like this. But I love even more to show it to people who maybe wouldn't see it. A little bit of lighting, my new panel lights that are working just wonderful and I've changed the studio lighting a little bit. Upgraded my 70D a little bit. Still shooting 1080 on this one and uh, I should have got one of these monitors along time ago but what's even cooler <laughs> is the backlog <laughs> lots of toys you know what i'm finding most fun is using super simple stuff like a coffee table and this 
tray thing I got for four bucks at the ReStore. Look at the texture on that. <laughs> so cool. Shoot time in the lab again. <laughs> Having a little bit of fun with this. This is the Ender 3 V2 Neo and we're doing some cool photography on the final results. That thing can print. So this is the same day as the last video and we've assembled yet another laser cutter. This is the longer 10 watt and I like it. Uh, it's a good, simple, robust setup and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm really working on my videography now. Um, you guys are hopefully notice a significant change in the videos this fall. I had all summer to think about it. Summer break, I, I often try to make a plan for how we can improve the channel and make you guys have a bit better content that you can enjoy a little bit better. And this is my attempt at doing so. Ooh, another night, another 3D print. The uh, video for the Ender 3 V2 might already be up, so you might have already seen this, but uh, tested it out with TPU, my own profile, I whipped together in just a quick test, and it's perfect. I, I couldn't be happier. This thing works awesome. Works better than my i3, even with TPU, so... Oh, poor i3. I'm gonna have to retire it. This thing just... this just works. Uh, wow. Quick behind the scenes today, uh, laser cutting. We're making the new case for the Raspberry Pi project to uh, update my home assistant. That thing gets hot because I've got too many cameras running through it. So we're gonna do that. And I brought the DSLR out today. Check this out. I brought lights because I retrofitted my other lights and oh yeah, that's coming up soon too. So. Uh, as well, I'm printing off the hose barbs that I need to review this chiller. $18 for two bloody hose barbs on Amazon to join. Uh, I think it's three eighths to five sixteenths I need. And uh, that's the cheapest I could find. No freaking way. So yeah, multitasking in the shop today. Oh, and I'm gonna finish the review on that too. Ha <laughs> fun. Okay, good luck. We have a panel. We do. Check this out. Finally, we can get rid of the yellowed old DS1052 and move up to, it's kind of the same specs, but four channel, uh, much better screen. It's about time. This one served me well and it's not going anywhere. All the money I've been getting from uh, making kits, any profit from those or any uh, over the over the cost, not really profit. I squirrel away uh, and it sits aside for the channel and I put it into more gear. Just the increase in display visibility was worth the price of admission on this. Man, it's nice. That is way better than the old 1052. It might, the old display might have been getting kind of weak too. Uh, it's been it's been used a lot of years, but man, that is nice. Wow. And it goes with this awesome frequency and arbitrary waveform gen that I got as well. Uh, just what an awesome pair. And it looks like it is like the others I've seen where all functions are enabled. No upsells, they're all enabled by default. So that's pretty awesome. Happy about that. Home to the mountain near. 